So today's experiment is reduction of camphor. So we start with camphor, which is a ketone, and we are reducing it with sodium borohydride. That's your reducing agent. And methanol is your solvent. We're expecting two different products. One is the equatorial product, which is expected to be the major product, and the actual product would be your minor product. So we are converting or reducing a ketone to alcohol. So I start with camphor, which I weighed 0.30 grams, and reducing agent sodium borohydride, I have weighed 0.35 grams. So we are going to start the reaction, and at the end we are going to make the product and get the mass of the product. I have my 0.3 grams of camphor, and I'm going to add about two melts of methanol, and I'm going to add a stir bar into my 120, uh, this is a 50 ml on math flask, and then I'm going to put it to stir. I will give it some time to dissolve, and then we're going to add our sodium borohydride. So now I'm going to add the reducing agent, sodium borohydride, in small portions, and I have about 0.35 grams of sodium borohydride. So I'm going to add it to the mixture over here. I will let it boil for about 10 minutes, and if it is drying, completely, I will add another one ml of methanol. So I'm going to add one ml of methanol, just to make sure it doesn't dry completely. So it's been about 10 minutes and I'm going to turn off the heat and take this off the heat. So you can see it's not completely dry yet, there's some liquid or methanol left. So I will let it cool down. So the product has cooled down. So now you can see it's like a sticky mass. It's all sticking to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and add about 10 ml of cold DI water. And with my filtering setup, I'm going to filter out the product. Filtering setup is done. I have turned on the vacuum. I'm going to go ahead and scrape the bottom of the on my flask to get all my product and then filter it out. And to get the rest of the product, I'm going to add some more cold water, cold DI water. So I'm going to let it sit in the vacuum for a few minutes to have it dry and then proceed. So it's been sitting in the vacuum for a few minutes now. I'm going to turn off the vacuum. And as you can see, here's my product. And I still have the stir bar, I gotta take it out. And I'm going to transfer this using about 10 ml of dichloromethane or methylene chloride. So, here's my dichloromethane or methylene chloride. And instead of an Arnmeyer flask, I am using a beaker. It's a 50 ml beaker. I'm going to transfer all my product in here. So, that's all my product with the stir bar, I'm going to add the solvent, which is the dichloromethane, and then this stir bar would rinse out, and I will take it out with the magnetic retriever. And I'm going to add about 10 ml of dichloromethane. So my stir bar is still hanging in here. I'm going to take it out with the magnetic retriever. So now it's gone. I'm going to add some sodium sulfate drying agent 
to my product solution, which is in dichloromethane. Give it a swirl, and then let it sit for about 10 minutes for the dichloromethane solution to dry off. If there's any moisture, the dichloromethane, in the dichloromethane, the sodium sulfate would absorb it. So I will let it sit, have it dry, and then transfer the liquid into a pre-weighed on flask to collect my product. So it's been a, a while, about 10 minutes, the dichloromethane has been sitting with the sodium sulfate. Now I'm going to tilt the beaker and transfer all the liquid into a pre-weighed on flask. So the remaining sodium sulfate is in the beaker. I'm going to add about a milliliter of dichloromethane and rinse the sodium sulfate. And again, transfer just the liquid using a pipette into my pre-weighed on my flask. Okay, so this is my product in a dichloromethane or methylene chloride solution. So I have to dry this on a gentle boil and I will be blowing air from the top so it can be dried off at a much lower temperature. So as you can see, my solution is gently boiling and I'm going to blow some air on top. So it took about five to seven minutes to dry. So this is my product completely dry. I would let it cool and then weigh it. So at the end of the reaction, we have our dried product. The empty on my flask weighed 16.81 grams and the on my flask with the product uh, after the product was dried weighed 17.04 grams. So the difference of these two numbers should help you find the mass of the product and then eventually we can find the percent yield.